What's up guys? So we're back up here at Keystone for another day of snowboarding. Up riding with TJ. I think he's getting a board review down today. Yeah, riding the K2 standard today. Really stoked to check it out and uh, beautiful day. TJ, how does it feel getting on so many boards to review every year? I love it, honestly, man. It's uh, definitely a little bit challenging switching from board to board, but uh, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. At least that's how I feel. And you start to realize, you know, like, the similarities between certain boards and you can kind of anticipate how they're going to feel a little bit. All right, man, we'll, we'll have to look at for your review coming soon. All right guys, so we're up here again filming with the GoPro Hero 8 without the gimbal. I think the stabilization is definitely smooth enough to go gimbal free. And TJ just got his first lap in on the K2 standard. Yeah, I think it's a lot more stable than I thought it would be. Both K2 and Evo rate it as like a one out of five or like a super soft flex. And first impressions feel more like a mid flex, which definitely a surprise. Nice, that's why you gotta get on these boards. That's why, man. Yeah, every company, has their own flex scale, so there's no standard comparison across brands. All right, you're our standard comparison then. All right, first lap of the park today. TJ, what's the plan for the first lap? Keep it super mellow. First park lap of the day, second lap in general. Got a new board, sharp edges. Have every reason to keep it mellow, so. All right, let's just check it out. Let's see your version of mellow. Okay. <laughs> TJ, what are you doing to the board to review it? Like what are the, some of the tests you put it through? Yeah, so the first thing I do is try to really feel out the flex, twisting it torsionally, also kind of leaning on the nose and the tail, trying to get an idea before I start riding it. Try to do carves at varying speeds from like going really slow to as fast as I can go, ollieing off rollers as much as I can feel out the pop pretty much anything I can do to feel out every aspect of the snowboard. You know, there's multiple ways to, to feel things out, right? So like the flex you can feel in carving and butters when you're just straight flexing it when you're riding the park. So all of that combined kind of paints a pretty good picture of what the board can do. All right guys, so today I'm taking it really easy. I had a really rough bail yesterday in the park. TJ kind of saw the aftermath of it. Yeah, man, it's uh, you hate to see it, but sometimes that's part of it. And uh, you know, early season, firm conditions, but I'm glad you're still out here. Thanks, man. Yeah, I definitely, I broke all the rules of avoiding injuries. Like we came up kind of like late in the day, so the park was a bit choppy. I didn't do like my warm-up trick, so on some of the features where I was feeling comfortable the day before, I just went straight into some tricks that I was kind of pushing myself with. So I didn't take those progression steps. And even like these early season conditions, even though it's amazing that we have snow, it's still fairly icy up here. TJ, do you have any habits that help to keep you injury-free? Yeah, I think uh, 
A couple of the biggest ones that we missed out on yesterday is getting a good stretch in and also taking a few warm up laps. So you're feeling nice and loose out there, you're feeling comfortable on your board, always gonna help to avoid injuries or falls. Yeah guys, yesterday I just broke all those rules so I'm definitely paying the price for it today. But I think after a few days of taking it easy, getting back to Canada, maybe getting onto some yoga or something, I'll be back to ride at 100%. Oh, for sure, for sure. So it's pretty busy down here today. For my lap, I'm just gonna try to keep my board connected to the snow and maybe work on some switch. So some switch carving, switch ollies, even some switch presses. It's always good to get a solid switch lap in from time to time. Right, guys so we ran into one of our friends from high cascade one of the coaches jess jess what brings you to colorado i'm just here to get some early season riding in before i start working for the winter nice where do you work um i work at north star in tahoe what got you started on your like snowboard career um i went with some friends in high school and immediately loved it nice and so i uh, kind of went snowboarding all through high school and college and then my last semester in college, I ended up moving up to Tahoe to finish my last couple of classes. And I was gonna be there for one season. Nice. And it's uh, been about a decade. <laughs> Sick. What did, you, what did you take in school? What was gonna be your other career path? Uh, I did communications. Oh, perfect. So, yeah, it actually comes in pretty handy. Plays right into snowboard coaching and everything. Yeah. How did you end up at High Cascade? Because that's like just such a fun place to be coaching. Yeah, it is. Um, so I ended up going up to Timberline one year. Uh, I just got a spring pass yep. and loved it. Went back the next year. And then after my spring pass ended, I got a job at uh, the Timberline Resort. Cool. Worked there for a summer and then uh, met some of the High Cascade people and uh, got to know them, applied for a job and got Perfect. a coaching job with them. That's the way to do it. Just like meeting people, getting contacts. Do you have any advice for people out there who want to get into snowboard coaching or just getting into doing full seasons on snow? Yeah, definitely. I think part of it is you have to take the plunge and commit to it. And a lot of resorts always need instructors. So that's what I started out doing. I started out instructing, did that for ages, nice. got certified, and then from instructing moved to coaching. Cool. Um, so it's kind of been a, a bit of a natural progression through that. Have you ever competed in snowboarding? Like have you ever done any contests? Uh, not a ton. Um, yep. I've done some rail jams um, just always for fun yeah. and then the last couple of years I started getting into big slaloms a little bit more. Cool. We have a pretty rad one in Tahoe up on the Donner Summit Nice. and it's called Rally for Rocker and it's a fundraiser for the skate park they're trying to expand in Truckee. Oh cool. Um, but it's like such a rad community there. Everyone from the snowboard community is out. And then this year I got to help uh, dig out the course, which was really fun. Oh, amazing. Cool. <laughs> do you do as much skateboarding as you do snowboarding? Um, in the summer I skate a lot. Um, so nice. I actually learned to skate at High Cascade my first summer there. Oh, sick. Um, so I learned when I turned 30, the summer I turned 30. It's never too late. No, it's not. <laughs> and I kind of think that's amazing because skating, like it hurts uh, definitely when you fall. At first I, I did not think it was for me. It was skating the mini ramp, didn't really like it. And then once I finally dropped in on the bowl, it was like, oh, this is, this is for me. This is like turning on a snowboard. Amazing. <laughs> cool. If you guys see Jess around Tahoe or at Northside, definitely come say hi. And I'll also put a link to her Instagram. You can check it out. It's Jess the Jackal, I think. Jackalope. 
Just a jackalope. <laughs> awesome. We'll see you at High Cascade. Awesome. See you there. <laughs> see you guys out on the hill. <laughs> Alright guys, great day up there. Stay tuned because TJ will have a review out on the K2 standard soon. TJ, you want to share any quick thoughts on the board? Yeah, I think maybe the most valuable piece from the review is that it's stiffer than advertised online. But yeah, good all around versatile intermediate rider kind of board. Nice man, yeah, look like fun. Yeah, and quick shout out to everyone that we got to meet up on the mountain today and ride with. Even though I wasn't feeling 100%, I think today was maybe my favorite day just because of all the people we met. So shout out to you guys. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you're having fun out there snowboarding too, and we'll see you in the next one soon.